What's going on, everybody? Not too sure which day this is going to populate for a video. Ooh, <laughs> it shows I was muted there on my screen. But anyhow, I wanted to touch base on this because I got an email, I believe, at first that it was popping on my Twitter feed, but PSA price updates for January 2023. So going over this and looking at I, as always, you know, lots of change. You have mixed feelings. And I'm kind of curious what everybody thinks that uses PSA already on the pricing and if they like this any better. So for Collectors Club, that's your membership people, you have Value Bulk, which is $19 a card. It's up a dollar, but the max declared value went from $199 to $499, so an extra dollar. Before, you'd be upcharged from that $18 to $30, so not bad, not bad, not complaining. There is a 20-card minimum. Turn around 65 business days. Then you also have the dual service bulk, $25 card. Same thing with the declared value being $499, 20 card minimum, 75 day business turnaround. So those are for your collector's club exclusives. Now we get into what everybody else goes to. You have value. It would be $25 a card, same value, $499. There is no minimum on this. And it's 65 day business turnaround. So basically, if I'm a collector's club member and I don't have 20 cards to submit, I'm going to have to submit at $25 a card. $6 difference, basically. Value plus, max declared value again, $4.99, but you get it back in 20 business days. No card minimum, but you're paying $40 a card. We do not have economy on this anymore. So I'm guessing value plus kind of takes that over. But for $75, your card will get graded by them in 10 business days, max declared value of $14.99. I don't know what this is coming on my screen. Red banner. Come on, come off. There we go. Had to reboot the computer. Get an update going. All right, so basically, if your card value is between $500 and $14.99, you're going to be paying $75 a card. They didn't put anything else out on Express, Super Express, none of that stuff yet. For me, it's not bad. I think the biggest hiccup is when we were doing the value bulk versus the specials, a lot of people were getting mixed up between minimum, no minimum. Um, the years, one was 96 to present for uh, like modern slash ultra modern era. And the other one was 1980 to present, and then 79 and back. And people were getting that mixed up a little bit. So I think I, that might help out with the confusion a little bit. I think if they just use the quarterly specials direct and make it, you know, error-proof, it would be a lot easier. But maybe this will help out with a little bit of that confusion. I'm not too sure offhand. But overall, like I said, I'm not overly mad at it at all. Uh, don't know when in January, if this is the first or what it may be. I will tell you guys this much. I have to renew my membership end of this month. I will do it for $99, but does anybody use Loop? Because right now, if I re, uh, redo it like this, I guess today or by a certain date, they give me a $100 Loop credit. Anybody uses Loop, is it really worth me to do it and get the little code, get a $100 credit? I mean, it's $100 free. Is it just breaks on loop or people selling cards? I mean, just curious. It's a PSA thing with a membership. Um, you, you pay the $99, they give you $100 loop credit. So just curious out there. Anybody knows that? Please, please put the comments down below. Um, kind of interesting on that. All right, that, guys. Pretty much it for the PSA video. Short, sweet. I know we had a little loop to it, but just curious. It was something that just hit me in the back of the mind as we were doing the video. Let me know again in the comments what you guys think about these services if you are a PSA gra uh, person that grades with them and stuff. Other than that, guys, I'll catch y'all next video.